Okay, sinks go in there. That's for the potty. There's the bathtub. I showed that before. The other end of the bathtub is where the spigot and the drain are going. And there's the wall. I fixed it by inserting here a sheet of half-inch plywood and screwing the drywall to that blue board. Um, but if you look close, man, the whole thing sunk in where I uh, pre-mudded it. So I'm probably going to have to hit that with another coat of mud. I haven't even bothered to tape it yet. None of that is going to have to be uh, super well polished. Um, it's all getting coated over with another substance which will be completely watertight. So that's in progress. One sheet, two sheet, and a little bit off to the side. Okay, let's look at what's on the other side. This room, a lot of work to go. The window. And here we are from the other side, from the middle room, looking at the job I've done. I used scraps of blue board. I think I used like six scraps. Well, I didn't cut into a new sheet. So, there it is. Uh, it's not a super good job. Um, yeah, that's going to have to get uh, sanded down. And there's some thin spots. And in fact, where that joint is, I didn't preload it at all. I just, you know, slapped a bit of drywall mud on, uh, levered the tape in, and then slapped a coat across the top. Um, and you can see where it's sucked in at the crack. Not unusual. Kind of going to have to uh, throw a bit of sanding paper against that and then lay another line down. Uh, um, this is just a closet. The uh, water heater's going in here. The other side is the bathtub. My goal is to lay down a paint layer. Uh, Got a moth in there. Lay down a paint layer with uh, anti-mold in it, and it's white. So when you go to working in here, because here's that uh, up pipe. By the way, the up pipe is not attached. It's just there, okay? And there's the down pipe. So this is incoming, it's cold water coming in. And the hole down here is going to be for the hot water pipe going out. And so in here is going to sit the water heater. And when you go to working on it, uh, it would be nice if this was nice and white because it shines light all around and it looks pretty and it makes it easier to work than trying to work in a dark hole. But more important, <clears throat> I want this to be uh, mold resistant because you always spill a little bit of water. Anyway, that's where it's at right now. Um, I'm looking forward to sanding in this little enclosed space. Just so to show you. This is uh, probably about the five foot level. I have to duck to get in. And they had a sheet of um, oh, just the very thin plywood uh, nailed on top of it and you can see where the the old uh, line was where it got painted uh, and they ignored painting anything underneath it so yeah welcome to fixing a trailer you do what you can and you just keep moving I put a little bit of sanding time on it Still not perfect, but a lot better than it was. Probably should throw another coat down so I can grind everything flat. 
there's that line across. Yeah, I'll have to throw another bit of uh, drywall mud on that. The rest of it actually looks almost reasonable. And yeah, there's a couple of spots where it was still a little bit damp, so I kind of ignored it. I can grind that off in a minute. But I didn't want to muck up uh, the sanding paper. So yeah, it's almost done. Pop one off to the side there. And that silly little blue diamond. Just because I started it in another room, and that's probably going to get covered with a tank, but it'll make me smile anyway. All right. So you know, I've got a whole bunch of these pre-cut. You get to going in a pattern, you just keep going. Those will all get used. Might not be for a while, but I was happy and grinding away and so the afternoon got something done. <laughs>